Hi, I'm Dr. Nicole Vane of Moonlight Beach Dental, uh, the owner, and we're a general and holistic office here in Encinitas. And I wanted to provide this video for our patients who are confused about the different types of blood tests they may need. So I kind of wanted to walk you through the process in case some information was lost when you were here, or so that you can actually, before your new patient exam, have some of these tests taken if it's something you're really worried about, and bring the results in for your new patient exam. So I'm a SMART certified, Huggin certified mercury removal dentist, which means that I follow the safe mercury amalgam removal technique. And part of that training is that we'll send you for a Quicksilver Mercury Tri-Test um, if we're worried about mercury toxicity. In one of my other videos, I told you how just by taking this test, I discovered quite a few things actually about myself. Um, one of which that I was mercury toxic in the 95th percentile and arsenic toxic in the 95th percentile, even though I've never actually had a mercury filling. It's just from being around it here in the dental office. And the problems with that were while I wasn't aware, I wasn't having a lot of the symptoms that you would typically see, I did discover that I have an MTHFR deficiency and that I don't methylate things well. So if I had been given mercury fillings growing up, I would be the worst candidate for that because I can't get it out of my system. So I did take their supplements and protocol to detox. I am someone who can only have sushi on special occasions. Darn it, even though I love poke bowls and sushi as much as anyone. But I just can't get the mercury out. Um, in my last holistic meeting, I sat with two doctors who actually won just four years out of dental school had to go on disability for over a year and the other for two years because they were so mercury toxic they couldn't even get out of bed. The shakes, everything. So there can be a lot of symptoms associated with heavy metal toxicity and mercury toxicity. A lot of my patients come to me and research me because I know how to get some of these metals out of your system and I certainly know how to get them out of your teeth. But we have a lot of supplements we would need to guide you through to help with that. And this test tests the baseline on what mercury is in your system. So we typically excrete mercury through our stool and through our urine and also through our sweat a little bit. So what this measures are three components, your blood, your urine, and a hair sample to see if you have long-standing mercury in your system, it's gonna see what's embedded in there. Now keep in mind too with other, some of the other heavy metals, um, I've now discovered how many makeup products have arsenic and how many of our other dental metals have other com compounds in them that, that most people aren't even aware of that can really make you heavy metal toxic. So this test is here in the office. None of the money for these tests go to us. We don't charge you anything. We just keep the boxes here as a courtesy to our patients. So it comes with several vials on the inside and some instructions in the box on how to pay and how to ship it. So for the blood draw, do not do it at home. Don't try and train yourself. You're going to go to a phlebotomist. You can go to anyone you want. There's a lot of lab cores in the area. There's even some um, local here or anywhere. You could go to a local naturopath or a general phlebotomist lab center where you can have your blood drawn and put into these vials. The more important part, if you want accurate results, is that you're going to then, once this box is completed, you're going to mail it off to get the lab results done at the Quicksilver lab. So you really want to have it done on a Monday, Tuesday, or by the latest a Wednesday morning because this goes in an airship bag, FedEx Express, and you do not want this sitting around on the weekend. So your results can be skewed if, like me, you're busy and you don't set aside the time to do the test and so you rush and do it and maybe you're like, oh man, I didn't have time to drop it off at FedEx. So it sits in your hot car for a day and a half, and then you're like, shoot, that's still there, I'm gonna go drop it in the mailbox, and then it sits over four days at the weekend. You don't want that. So really make sure you're doing it on a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday morning to make sure it gets there in the lab so it's properly handled in the lab within the same business week by Friday at the latest. So keep that in mind. The other test we really recommend is the biocompatibility test. You can also have a Clifford test done. Both of these are approved by the Huggins Protocol and the IAOMT which is the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology. Um, Biocomp is done by the Huggins Institute, by Blanche Group. 
So what it is, is it's a blood test that tests your blood against 99 of the most common dental materials. The ones we really look for that are the most reactive for patients are our resins. Um, the resins that we, that any dental office uses are essentially fancy plastics. So while most people are wanting to come and have all their mercury fillings replaced, the question is, do you know what you're replacing them with? Or does your dentist even know? Because the results from this, especially if you're a person who has autoimmune disease, can be really profound with what you react to. Um, our most common ones that people might even already be aware of are that they react to metal. But some of the resin cement, there's no way I would have any idea of knowing that it's not something that agrees with you. So as a biocompatible dentist, I like to choose materials that are going to be right for you specifically and not just choose a material that anyone would use and say I only have one type of bonding agent and one type of filling material. We have more than any dental office I've ever worked in in 15 years. I stock 10 different cements. I have four or five different bonding agents. I have several different types of filling materials all of which that I found over the years are always in the least reactive or non-reactive category for our patients. But I think it is really important, especially because most of our patients come in here with a lot of dentistry that's already been done to them. So I wanna make sure that I'm not giving them anything that's gonna be overly reactive. So with the BioConf test, you're also going to pick up the box and inside there's several vials for your blood and for your saliva. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the lab. There's very specific instructions here that you can review um, to make sure that the lab puts in enough blood and that you have enough of a saliva sample. Again, the really important part is that you can fill out your own payment information here directly to them. We do not collect anything or bill anything on your behalf for this. That you read the instructions before you seal the box and that you take the results in on a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday morning to make sure that it arrives by Friday. We've had several patients who have busy weeks and then they wait until Thursday or Friday and then the, actually the results have at times even gotten lost. We have no way of handling any of that. So just really make sure that you have the instructions and that you properly drop it off at FedEx where it says FedEx and not UPS. There are some simple things that when we're all in a hurry that we can tend to overlook. So I wanted this video to be, just in case somehow you missed one of these details, that you could watch this again before you go through all the time, trouble, and money of having your blood drawn. So I, I really love the BioComp test. It lasts, the results last for up to five years um, before there's a lot of changes in dental technology um, and materials that we use. So it's a really useful guide if you're gonna have a lot of dental work done or if we're trying to unravel a lot of the symptoms for an autoimmune disease that you may be having. So the next time you're at the office, please feel free to ask me or any of our front desk team um, about the BioComp test or the Mercury Tri test. And um, we're always here for you and all of our patients. So thank you for watching this video.